Psychopathology I. People whose minds, brain, and behavior are atypical. Schizophrenia. Bipolar disorder. Depression. Substance abuse. Anxiety. Panic disorder. Phobia. Autism, ADHD, dyslexia. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Image 230. About half of all individuals, at some time, will qualify for meeting some psychiatric disorder. Schizophrenia, 1% population in US, equal. Depression, 25%, more often in women than men. Substance abuse, 18%, more men. Phobia, anxiety, 32%, more women. Survey of 5,000 people, 19 to 25. 50% had a psychiatric disorder, similar whether in or out of college. Fewer than 25% with a disorder saw treatment. History. 16th and 17th century. Demonic possession. The witch hunts, like the Salem trials, may have involved patients with Huntington's or Tourette's. 1814. Segregate individuals away. People chained and living in filthy conditions. In London, theirs was a zoo to see people chained in cages, 96,000 visitors. Nowadays. Organic and psychological illness. Agosmonese. He introduced frontal lobotomies as a treatment for psychiatric disorders. 1942, I speak lobotomy, 5,000 people per year. They just destroyed the frontal lobes of patients. Book example. Ray, he has Tourette syndrome, neurological disorder but has some psychiatric pieces. They have involuntary physical tics, and they curse uncontrollably. Ray had tics every few seconds since age 4. He loses his jobs all the time. He tries Haldol, which slow him down. At some point he comes back with a broken nose, just trying to go through a revolving door, his timing is so oof that he injures himself. Because the drug has changed who he is. Over the next nine years he has a study job, good family, etc. But. On the weekends, he takes no medication, and be himself, the faster drummer and ping pong player. And between week he's the medicated, sober, slow, sedated individual, who's valued as a normal person. Which makes us wonder. What's that line between changing them to fit in vs helping them? Mental disorder. Behavioral or psychological syndrome with a painful symptom, or impairment of functionality. 1840, Semmelweis, just by washing your hands, the dead rate went from 12% to 1%. Nowadays, checklists on hospitals, if the doctors follow the steps from a checklist, the death rate goes down. No brain disorder for all these neuropsychiatric disorders can be spotted by a blood test or a brain image, Everything is a discussion between the physician and the patient. But there's risk. E.g. Rosnan's study. He and his students pretended to hear voices. They went to an emergency room saying they heard voices. Once they were admitted into a psychiatry ward, they just became normal again. Seven of eight of these people were diagnosed by schizophrenia. And it took them three weeks to two months to be released. Every behavior they did, like writing notes, for the research paper, were interpreted as a sign of their disorder, in this case they said it was abnormal writing behavior. Because once you have that perspective on somebody, then every behavior can be interpreted as an unusual behavior. Once you have a take on somebody, you keep connecting the dots. Even other patients were skeptical. You're not crazy, you're a journalist checking the hospital, referring go the continual note-taking. Criteria for diagnostic categories. Signs, what examiner sees. Symptoms, what patient says. Syndrome equals cluster of signs and symptoms. Neuropsychiatric disorder equals syndrome. Then, some people get together and created the DSM-4. Which is a book of signs and symptoms of psychiatric diseases. But. About 20 years ago. If you were homosexual, you would have a diagnosis in this book as a psychiatric disorder. Also. There's debate to eliminate Asperger's, a milder form of autism. When one DSM switched to another, the number of children in Germany who qualifies for ADHD diagnosis doubled overnight because the diagnostic criteria changed. Nonetheless. It's the better we have. It helps allocation of resources. Research for treatment. Predicting behavior. Schizophrenia. Image 28,45. Splitting of mental functions. Disintegration of emotions, though, and actions. Minus 1% worldwide, 2-3% schizotypal disorder, milder form. Usually start in winter or spring. Psychosis. Thoughts are disconnected and loose. Delusions, like persecution, or possession. Auditory hallucinations. Depression, anxiety. Restlessness. Withdrawal. Onset, late adolescence early adulthood. Often respond positively to antipsychotic drugs. 
minus 25% full recovery, minus 25% severely disturbed, minus 50% steady. Schizophrenia have a genetic component. If a twin has schizophrenia, 50% for the second twin to have schizophrenia. 10% first degree relatives. 13% one parent. 50% two parents. Higher in urban areas, stress slash money. Which means. Genes plus bad environment equals schizophrenia. But we don't know which genes are. People with schizophrenia have larger ventricles. Also have shrunken hippocampus, but may be due to the high amounts of medications they take. Their cellular organization in the hippocampus is more messy. Their blood flow in their cortex is diminished while they're resting. Their frontal cortex gets activated a lot doing demanding tasks. Usually, their relatives have a milder form, but they don't have the problems, you can only see them in specific tasks. Auditory hallucinations. When they hear voices, their auditory cortex activates, as if they really were hearing a voice. Treatment. Neuroleptics. Block postsynaptic dopamine receptors and release dopamine from presynaptic neurons. Effective within hours. But it has side effects. Early on, Parkinson's symptoms, 20 to 40 percent. Later on, tardive dyskinesia, 20 percent. Involuntary movements, smacking lips, chewing. Most of the pharmaceutics has stopped researching these types of drugs, because it helped individuals, but always with side effects, and we don't know how to get rid of the side effects. Antipsychotic medications. Act on the dopamine system, it decreases dopamine. So, people think the real problem is because patients with schizophrenia have too much dopamine. But, just because a drug acts on a disease, doesn't mean it's treating the disease in the most direct way. Image, 46 colon 45. This antipsychotic blocks the receptors that take dopamine, and therefore dopamine gets catabolized in the middle, so it's not used in neurotransmission. Why they get tardive dyskinesia or Parkinson's symptoms? Because the drugs are too nonspecific. Ventral tegmental area-dopamine to the basal ganglia-prefrontal cortex. The ideal will be to block the dopamine from the ventral tegmental area. But we can't right now, so it affects the basal ganglia as well. And what PD is, is a shortage of dopamine in the basal ganglia, which produce the death of substantia nigra. Around 90% of people with schizophrenia smoke, because it might take the voices to go away.